I can't believe we are moving and there are some people who are not seated on this plane. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a Ugandan American on a mission to visit all 54 African countries before I turn 54. In this video, I will discuss Ethiopian Airlines economy class flying within Africa and why actually it is my airline of choice in Africa. One thing about Ethiopian Airlines is that its fleet that operates within Africa consists of wide body aircraft. 20 plus Airbus A350s and 30 plus Boeing 787s. These are new aircraft. Not to get too technical, but this means there is a high probability that you'll be flying on a two hour aircraft for a short distance. Their huge fleet means that they serve 76 African airports in 40 countries. In Cameroon, Congo, Kenya, Madagascar, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa and Zambia, the airline serves two airports in these countries, while in the DRC, Tanzania and Zimbabwe, they serve three airports each in those countries. In Nigeria and Somalia, they serve four airports in those countries. The other thing is that at Ball International Airport, Ethiopian Airlines tends to park many of its aircraft away from the terminal which means that you'll have to be shifted to and from the plane using a bus. Okay, why is this important for me? Well, as an aviation geek, this is exciting. As you disembark, you are right up close to the aircraft's engine, and it's lovely watching people take photos right under the wing. Ethiopian Airlines does well with its crew. They are hardworking, showing they are happy to be on the job. If you watched my previous video about the flight I took from Addis Ababa to Chicago, I mentioned that the passengers flying the airlines are sometimes the problem. For example, on a flight from Addis Ababa to Uganda, a few passengers decided that they will carry the entire kitchen as hand luggage on the aircraft. On the other hand, I question the training Ethiopian Airlines gives its crew. On one flight I took with them, Passengers were still roaming the cabin as the plane was being pushed back. I can't believe we are moving and there are people who are still moving on this plane, they are not yet seated. <laughs> the overhead bins have not been closed, but we are moving. We are moving. Expect a full meal even on a short haul flight on Ethiopian Airlines. The food quality, though, is a hit or miss, but do expect chicken or fish or rice and complimentary wine. You can order as many drinks as you want, even if the flight is just a two-hour flight. You will not get this on Delta or American Airlines in North America. One essential thing, especially for U.S. travelers, hear me out, is that Ethiopian Airlines has a lot of award seats available. It is really easy to book flights to Africa with points if you transfer them to United Airlines or to Air Canada's Aeroplan program. If you want to learn how to fly to Africa with Ethiopian Airlines or any other airline using points, please follow the link below so I can help you out. Have you guys flown Ethiopian Airlines in Africa? What was your experience like? Please share your experiences in the comment section below, but until then, safe travels everyone.